the consequences of having uh, all this clutter that exists in your in your project file is number one it has the potential of increasing the size of your project now right off the bat i can say that there's some good news if you have unused items in your project library they're not going to impact the published version of your e-learning course uh, and while adobe captivate does do a pretty good job of optimizing the content that is in your published e-learning project uh, you certainly can do a lot of things uh, you know up front to make the, uh, the the project a little bit more compact when it's published remember people are consuming our e-learning content through uh, most cases some form of a network or the actual internet and uh, you know if they have a bad connection or if they're doing this on their smartphone or their tablet uh, they may experience delays and you can mitigate some of that by keeping your project as small and compact as possible. Um, one of the things that uh, that we'll take a look at here is uh, removing unused objects from your library. So this is a very small project file, but imagine, of course, if you had a project file that contained many hundreds of slides. And if you design like me, where your ideas change as you go, you know, I still, I'm still speaking from working from, um, you know, a proper storyboard, for example. But, you know, you might, you might uh, take something from a storyboard, put it on your screen and look at it and think, eh, I don't know if I really like that. You end up with, uh, with some changes at that point. Uh, or at that point and later on you you realize that all the assets that you've used for the previous um, you know the previous work that you've done are still in your project library taking up space uh, you can remove the unused uh, objects in your library by going to the library panel so I could select any one of these individually and then simply hit the trash can uh, in the library I receive a confirmation message and let me just show this full screen so you can uh, see that a little more clearly there. So you'll get the confirmation message. Are you sure you want to delete the selected object? Click yes, and it's gone. But you can actually save yourself uh, quite a few steps by just simply selecting this icon. This is the uh, select unused items icon from your library panel. When you select that, it automatically selects anything with a zero value. And it's going to do this from your audio folder. It's going to do this from your backgrounds folder, your images, your multimedia, whatever else you've got here. And in one click, you can get rid of all of those unused objects just by clicking delete. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.